Today we're making chilled rosemary pea soup. And we're using fresh peas, not split peas. So we have fresh rosemary, we've got diced celery, some butter, we're gonna have minced shallots, salt, sliced leeks, two 10 ounce packages of frozen peas or six cups of fresh peas if you want to sit and shuck all those peas and six cups of vegetable stock. So melt one quarter cup of unsalted butter over medium heat, then add shallots, rosemary leaves, add two cups thinly sliced leeks, white and light green tops, celery, two teaspoons of coarse salt, Sweat those, that means cook them in the hot butter until they start to soften up and turn a little translucent. It's about five minutes, stirring occasionally. Then add in six cups of vegetable stock or water. Bring that to a boil and then let it simmer for 15, 20 minutes, just until all the vegetables are really soft. Now it's time to add the peas. If you shelled fresh peas, you should have six cups, otherwise two packages, uh, 10 ounces each of frozen peas. Stir those in and cook for three to five minutes just so they're soft. So our pea soup is done and it's ready to be pureed. Never fill your food processor or your blender more than halfway, whether it's hot or cold. So we're gonna fill this halfway. to serve this chilled, set up an ice water bath. That's a big bowl filled with ice and water, and then a smaller bowl inside that will hold eight cups. And then put your pureed soup in there and start stirring a little on occasion, and that will cool your soup down right away. But if you wanted to serve it cold, I would recommend another teaspoon of salt. And we have our rosemary croutons. To get the recipe for the chilled rosemary pea soup, make sure you go back to honeypiesrecipes.com. If you wanted to serve this chilled, you would put yourself, yeah, you would put yourself in, <laughs> in an ice bath. <laughs> cool yourself down, not the soup. <laughs> Enjoy a cold soup. Uh.